Welcome to Easy Elim Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be learning on for two mathematics and our topic for today is surface area of common solid. So we are going to be looking at the surface area of a sphere. So we will see how we calculate the surface area of a sphere and then we we'll go ahead also and mention how we calculate the surface area of a hemisphere which is uh, half of a sphere although the formula is going to be fleshly different is not going to be a half of the formula so let's let's do that uh, and see how that happens so a sphere is usually a solid that is entirely round with every point of the surface at equal distance from the center so when we calculate the surface area of um, a sphere we use the formula pi r 4 pi r squared so let's do a few examples using the formula. This is the easiest of all the surfaces, the surface area of the solids that we have discussed because the formula is very direct. The work is to incorporate that formula. So find the surface area of a sphere whose diameter is equal to 21. So the diameter is 21. Remember, we need to get uh, the radius and the radius is gotten by dividing the diameter by 2. So we are going to divide uh, 21 by 2 to give us 10.5 centimeters. So the formula is 4 pi r squared. So this is going to be 4 times 22 over 7 times 10.5 times 10.5. So this is the same as 4 times 22 times 10.5 times 10.5 which gives us 9,702 divided by 7. If we divide this by 7, it gives us 1,386 centimeters squared. And that's it. It's not that complicated. Let's do another question. So in this case, you have been given a diagram with a radius. So we are told to calculate the surface area of that uh, sphere. So the formula remains, which is 4 pi r squared. So it's going to be 4 times 22 over 7 times 3 times 3. So this is the same as 4 times 22 times 3 times 3, which is giving us 792 divided by 7. If we divide that by 7, it gives us 113.14 centimeters squared. So, and then we do this question. A scientist using a telescope observed a spherical moving object in space. She established that the object had a radius of 17.5 meters. Calculate the surface area of the object. So the formula is going to be 4 pi r squared. So it's going to be 4 times 22 over 7 times our radius now is 17.5 times 17.5 this is 17 so this is the same as 4 times 22 times 17.5 times 17.5 which gives us 26,950 divided by 7 and our answer is 3,850 centimeters squared so when you are calculating the surface area of a hemisphere, you notice when you look at this, the shape of a hemisphere is a half of a sphere. So the formula is 3 pi r squared, not 2 pi r squared. The 2 pi r squared is the area, surface area of the curved surface. So our formula will be 3 pi r squared. So if you are given this question, for example, and you are given the diameter is 6 centimeters, we said for us to get the radius, you divide this by 2, which gives us 3. So the formula is 3 by r squared, which is 3 times 22 over 7 times 3 times 3. So this is 3 times 3 times 3 times 22, which gives us 594 over 7 divided by 7 which gives us 84.87 and it is centimeters 
squared. So that's how you calculate the surface area of a sphere and an hemisphere. What you need to do is to be able to remember the formula correctly. Most of the time, the, it's usually very direct because uh, in our formula, you notice we are given the radius. But of course, there are other situations where you are told to look for the radius where they've been given the area. So basically, we make uh, the radius the uh, subject of the formula, and then you uh, calculate the algebra until you get the radius. So, and remember our radius in this case is r squared. Let's say, for example, if you are given um, area as equals uh, the surface area, which is 4 pi r squared for the sphere, and you make r the subject of the formula, meaning you are going to divide by 4 pi both sides. Or you can go ahead and say the surface area is equals to 4 times 22 over 7 times r squared, which you are if not have, this gives us surface area is equals to 88 over 7 r squared. You multiply by 7 over 88, you multiply by 7 over 88 both sides. So you get 7 over 88 times surface area gives us the radius. If you do the square root of radius both sides, you get your answer that the radius is the square root of 7 over 88 times surface area. The same applies for when you're given the surface area of a hemisphere. So you can still use and make the radius as a subject of the formula. And then you can input the values that you have been given uh, in your question. So that brings us to the end. You can get more topical revision questions uh, in, on the same in the app and also some notes on the same, uh, especially in the cases where you have, you have been given the surface area and you don't have the radius. You need to practice on that, although it's not that complicated. So see you in the next lesson.